hey guys ignore the blood on my hand i made a tiktok video and an instagram video so if you want to see those results please go follow me i will make sure it's in the description below but we're gonna do our second halloween look so right now i am going to be using my anastasia dip route in chocolate we already know the vibes i'm going to be using that on my eyebrows side of my eyebrow you know gotta make them look alike and yeah this blood on my hand is just like distracting me so much but i promise it's the good results at the end thank you promise morphe setting spray to set those beautiful brows and i'm going to get this concealer off my face i'm just gonna pat that into my skin to make it look more natural Now I'm going to be using banana powder on them eyes. You know, you got to set them eyes for this look. Honey, yes, baby. Now I'm going to be using my 39L Hit the Lights Morphe Palette. So I don't remember these colors, so don't even ask me because I don't remember. But I'm going to be using... Uh, brown some brown and some glitter or whatever and oh girl look at that pigment but yes i'm gonna be using this them brows looking nice looking fresh looking absolutely gorgeous using the lighter brown and putting that all over my eyelid darker brown i'm just gonna be putting, doing the same step i did with the light brown making sure i get it everywhere i'm making sure i get it under my eye so it looks good it's look great it looks real natural so now I am going to be using my glitter that was in my 39L Hit the Lights palettes by Morphe. 
that's a mouthful but i'm just gonna be using that and putting it in my crease so i don't know you can tell where your crease is on your eye i mean i can i don't know if everybody else can yeah <laughs> rock babe in paradise and i'm going to be using maui i think it's maui yes maui i'm going to be using that and i'm going to be putting that in the corner of my eye to give that spark you know what i mean sparkle that glimmers no i'm just playing but you know for real i'm putting it in my eye in the corner of my eye Now it's time for eyelashes, everybody. I'm using these Airy Ellis eyelashes. I will put her Instagram down below so you guys can purchase some eyelashes from her. So I'm going to be using my Maybelline New York Mascara so I can put these bad boys on. to stop the video and bring it back because i forgot i wasn't recording so i'm putting my eyelashes on clamping them together as i usually do and they're going to be on pretty soon boom they on honey looking like a snack but yeah look at my hands they look so disgusting but yeah <laughs> so if you watch my videos my old videos then we already know what foundation i'm about to use the juvia's place foundation until i can find a better foundation but that's unlikely right now so i'm going to be using that and putting it all over my face changing the lighting in the back because it was just kind of too dark for the rest of this video so i do apologize that's on me but yeah i'm using the juvia's place concealer of course and I'm putting that on my face i'm also going to be using the anastasia cream contour kit so you'll be seeing that Now I'm going to be putting banana powder on my face to set that.
but yeah, he's an Anastasia cream contour kit, like I said before. Just making sure we all know. Now I'm going to be putting on Babe in Paradise on my face. I'm using that highlight, I mean. And I'm using Shady Bitch. Literally, that's what the highlight is called. I'm not making it up. But I love Bretman Rock's highlight. I'm almost out of that color, honestly, because I love it so much. putting on some setting spray by morphe no for real but yeah we're done with the look done done with the look and now let's get into this monster look the first thing i'm going to be doing is putting my foundation julius place on my lips and i'm going to be blending that out and setting it with powder i know i'm gonna look crazy don't come for me just trust the process honey That's done so we're gonna be using our James Charles palette I'm gonna be using black and so first thing you want to do after you do the foundation is you want to draw lines on where you want to put the yarn or the wool whatever it's called Also, so you just want to draw the line out where you want to put the yarn and stuff like that or whatever you guys use I'm using wool so that's what I'm doing tip and I'm going to be going back in with my James Charles palette and using that black and I'm going to be putting the black little dots all over my face.
after I get done with the black, I'm gonna be repeating the same step that I just did before with some brown. Then I use the brown to trace the black lines. I'm just tracing the black lines with the brown. That's all. And so, yeah. Like my brush, I'm going to just blend all that out on my face so like my face is bruised up. gosh yay it looks amazing yay i love it i love it i love it i love it okay so now i'm gonna be using the nyx uh primer white primer i'm gonna be putting that in the little hole thingy i made on the side of my face i don't know what to call it but i'm gonna be putting that on the side of my face Trace the black because I got a little messed up or whatever, so I'm gonna retrace the black around that NYX primer. So I'm putting brown inside of there and I'm just going to blend it out. Using another q tip and I'm really doing the black dots as before. the wool i got this wool at walmart i think it was like 454 five dollars i don't remember but i'm going to be using this wool and i'm also going to be using my duo glue that hurts my eyes but it's good for this <laughs> makeup look so i'm using this duo glue that is not good for your eyes at all i would do not recommend this for your eyes but i'm using this duo glue for my face but i ended up using my white duo glue because it worked a little bit better so i just ended up throwing this duo glue away it was a waste of my money honestly do not recommend this duo glue but i recommend the one that's white and blue and the glue on the dots that i already created and i'm just going to be doing this process over and over until i can get the wool to stick so this video is very long but this is why it took me so long to do this but the outcome is great and i love the results
like I said, this took a long, a long time for me to do. So I had to cut the camera, turn the camera back on because it was just, it took me so long to do this. So I do apologize if you do not see me putting it on, but I guarantee you I put them on myself. But as you can see, I started getting frustrated because, like, oh, my God, it took me so long to do this, guys. I really, really would appreciate if you can like and subscribe. It took me so long. So I started using the duo glue, a different one, the one, the white one I was talking to you guys about. So I used that one and that one was working way better than the, the first one. So I would recommend the second one, not the first one.
looking super duper good. I'm in love with this look. I'm so sorry about this video. It was so long, but I had to show you guys everything that I did. So now it's time for fake blood. So I'm going to be using a Q-tip for this fake blood also. So I'm just going to be dipping it in my fake blood and putting it all over my face. Yes, sir. So I ended up getting a brush to do my lips because, yeah, it was taking a long time and I was trying to get that drip perfection. So I just did it with the brush, it was a little bit more easier. Yes, since you're giving me everything to the eyebrows, the glitter, and the blood. Yes, honey. I love Halloween time. <laughs> so, this is the finished look. I'm just putting all my products up on camera. Like, I didn't care. But this is the finished look. I end up doing the same thing, the same process that I showed you guys to my neck. And here are my results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and comment. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye.